From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Hi everyone, I'm Courtney Zeller. Here are some of the stories we are following for Eyewitness News. Shoreline communities and the rest of the state are getting prepared for the possible arrival of Hurricane Henri. A hurricane watch and tropical storm watch were issued for parts of the state for Sunday. We're really going through all of our supplies. We are getting ready to pre-position supplies if we have to open up a recovery center where we would offer um, hot showers to our residents and Wi-Fi and bottled water. Many of our residents uh, are live on a well, which means if they have no power, they have no water. So we have to be prepared to supply them with that if need be. And the Red Cross is getting ready for Henri and is advising everyone to do the same. So first stop, create an evacuation plan. Plan what to do in case you are separated from your family or have to evacuate. Build an emergency kit with a gallon of water, non-perishable food, a flashlight, a radio, first aid kit, and medications. Be informed. Find out what, how local officials will contact you during a disaster and how you will get important information such as evacuation orders. All right, here's the very latest on Henri, the 11 a.m. update from the National Hurricane Center, bringing the storm uh, near Category 1 hurricane strength to the Connecticut-Rhode Island border as we head toward Sunday afternoon. So in advance of that, rain becomes likely by Sunday morning. So between now and then, the rest of our Friday, all day Saturday, plenty of time to take precautions to get ready. I know I will be going out to uh, you know, bring in some outdoor furniture um, and, and you know anything loose outside as winds eventually could gust to over uh, 60 miles an hour, especially across eastern Connecticut. That's where again to the east of the storm center we could get some power outages, damaging winds and as well with the upcoming high tide cycles with astronomically high tides with a full moon on Sunday. There's a concern for storm surge uh, and then again heavy rain to the west of the storm center could lead to uh, flooding issues as well well, especially with the heavy rain that we received yesterday from the remnants of Fred. So again, plenty of time to take precautions and preparations, I should say, today and tomorrow. Uh, outside of a spotty shower, we're going to be basically dry. We're in alert mode starting Sunday morning all the way probably into Monday, as this could be a slow moving system to exit Connecticut by the middle of next week. Uh, it's hot and humid with high temperatures back 90 or better shoreline highs and inland highs this weekend only in the 80s.